Hi everyone, um, my name is uh, Dave Robbins. Um, I'm an assistant professor here in the School of um, Communication and I'm the incoming chair of the uh, Masters in Journalism degree. So I'll be taking over kind of the admin and the, the running of the program in, in September. So if any of you um, are going to apply, I, I, will, I will see you in September. I'm just going to talk for a little bit about, uh, you know, why you might think of studying journalism in general, why you should think about studying journalism in, at DCU in particular, the the different ways into the course uh, and the course structure. So I'm just going to um, share my screen. Uh, okay. <clears throat> So I'm um, just going to talk for a little bit about uh, why you might um, study, want to study journal journalism in, in particular. And, um, you know, journalism is a really key uh, part of a healthy functioning democracy. Journalism is kind of built in as the, the public's uh, uh, watchdog into many of society's institutions and functions. So um, those of us who study journalism have identified kind of key roles about informing the public about what's going on in uh, that, things that, are, that affect them, uh, to warn about uh, possible challenges and threats down the line, such as climate change or in the past, uh, the, um, the banking crisis and the financial crash of 2008 and 2009, to investigate uh, and to hold uh, authorities to account, to interrogate governments and powerful institutions as to what they're doing and why they're doing it. And then often people think it's the role of journalism to promote uh, d democratic values as, as well. So journalism is even more important kind of right now than it has been in the part, past with the rise of digital and social media and the rise of, <coughs> excuse me, uh, myths and disinformation online. So it's part of journalism's role to kind of investigate and fact check um, and expose uh, conspiracy theories and other misinformation uh, online. Also, if you study journalism right now, you'll be <clears throat> excuse me, coming into the profession at a time when legacy print media is uh, fading a little and there are whole new ways of uh, telling your stories and reaching uh, different audiences. So we're seeing the rise of things like um, um, mobile journalism, blogging, uh, newsletters, um, different digital tools, uh, interactive graphics, uh, geographical uh, information systems that allow you to present data in whole new ways and tell different stories on different platforms in different interactive ways and source stories through interacting with your, your audiences. And also you'd be coming into journalism at a really exciting time in terms of big stories to tell. You know, the climate change story, I'm talking to you just a couple of days after the IPCC released the synthesis report of their um, sixth assessment report. Um, climate change is going to be a huge story in the Irish context. We've got the war in Ukraine. We've different social issues around housing and immigration. So there's lots to get uh, your teeth into um, as a journalist. Um, the business model of journalism um, is finally being looked at by the Irish government. We had the Media Commission's report on the future of journalism. And we have different initiatives to support public interest journalism being funded um, by the government. So there is help coming for struggling um, media organisations uh, down the line. Why you might choose DCU in particular to study journalism, um, the School of Communications and the course, the master's course is the oldest and highest ranked course in Ireland. It's part of a School of Communications, which is ranked in, in the top 200 media and communication schools in the world. We've uh, got um, great facilities here. We've got a, a new state of the art TV studio <clears throat> with a cool mixing desk and um, um, TV cameras. We have two radio studios where we do a lot of podcasting work and broadcasting work. We've got a uh, new um, uh, movie and news cameras and sound equipment, um, mobile journalism called Mojo. <clears throat> we've got new Mojo kits for doing that type of journalism. We've invested in 
360 um, degree cameras. We do workshops on drone photography for journalism, and we have uh, newly uh, refurbished uh, Mac labs where you'll do a lot of your editing in um, the Adobe suite of software for, for video and, and audio editing. You're, you'll also be taught by staff who are, are leading academics in their own field, both in Ireland and internationally. We've people like Debbie Ging, who's um, an expert on, on digital cultures and um, masculinity online. Eileen Cullity, who's, we've got a huge research project here about online uh, disinformation. We've uh, Jane Souter, who's an expert on journalism democracy. And um, we've got kind of key strengths in our staff that we try and bring into the teaching on the masters in, in environmental and climate journalism, in political journalism, and as I mentioned, in online disinformation. So a difference between DCU and other universities in Ireland on their journalism program is that you'll be taught by staff who are actively researching in the area that they're teaching about and who often are, you know, in the media or publishing stuff uh, relevant to their um, to the course. So just what you might need if you're thinking of applying to come and do the MAJ here, uh, you need a, um, a an undergraduate degree at 2-2 uh, level or higher. Uh, we also accept, accept students without a primary degree, but who have professional qualifications and uh, or work experience that would make them suitable to undertake the course. We ask you for a personal statement and an example of your writing and um, the, the places, once you hit the kind of minimum criteria, then the places are um, allotted, allocated on the basis of those um, those documents. And the class size is around, you know, between 20 and 30 students um, every year. So when you get here in September, this is kind of what you will study. So a lot of the core modules are about the skills you need for, um, for if you like, making journalism, producing journalism, how to um, edit, shoot and edit audio, record and edit audio, shoot and edit video, um, how to carry out interviews, how to report things like um, the Dáil, the Shannad, council meetings, courts, um, how to write a good uh, news story in the kind of news style, um, how to write features, how to research as a journalist, how to use data as a journalist, how to, how to turn your raw data into data visualizations, how to design um, newsletters and newspaper pages and magazine pages with InDesign, and then kind of more uh, specialist aspects of journalism about how the media um, covers climate change, gender in the media, um, the history of journalism, kind of journalism uh, and its role in Irish society over the years, and then political and financial journalism. So you can you can get the core skills, but you can also kind of navigate sort of informal pathways through the program, depending on what you're interested in. And then at the end of semester two, we have an intro program. We have very good relationships with the news organizations um, in the country, and you are sent on a six week placement to work in a news organization. And you often end up getting freelance work then subsequently from that news uh, organization. You'll also work on a dissertation um, like any other master's program. It can be an academic dissertation that's looking um, at an aspect of, uh, of jur journalism's um, role in society, or it can be more um, journalistic focused, a long form piece of journalism or a series of pieces or an audio or video documentary. So it can be um, a piece of journalism or a, a kind of standard academic thesis. Um, where you'll go afterwards? Uh, well, our, our kind of um, graduates are, are sort of really a who's who of, of, of journalism around, around the country and internationally. So a lot of our um, MAJs are in RTE or the Journal Media House, which is the company that owns the Irish Independent, Sunday Independent, 
Bauer Media, which is the company that runs Today FM and News Talk, um, the Examiner Group, and the Ar- which is owned by the Irish Times and in the Irish Times itself. Some have gone on to work for NGOs doing that kind of journalistic work in um, researching topics, writing content for campaigns and websites. Some end up in corporate communications, um, writing uh, sort of corporate material and press releases and so on. A couple have ended up working in political parties on the political communication side of things. Um, And, you know, I worked as a journalist for about 25 years before coming to do my PhD at DCU. And um, one of the things that always strikes me about journalists and the training that they get on this master's is that you're really taught to be able to cut through a lot of information and prioritize it very quickly. And that is a key, a key skill um, that is very transferable to any, any number of, of jobs. It's really about being able to think clearly and put things in a certain order. 